Hey, how goes it? So, this is going to be a quick channel update on all the things that have been going on recently. Um, so, Skyrim ended. Um, I'd have to say Skyrim was probably one of my best LPs. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. There was a lot of um, a lot of really interesting story things going on. We got some, had some fun times with Inigo, and it was a great time. Um, it's not over, technically. Uh, I'm probably going to be coming back to it... Uh, I don't know, we'll probably do a couple other series... Maybe uh, a couple main games. So in in a couple months, we'll probably come back and do a season two, because I mean it's a lot of fun playing with Inigo and it's just awesome. When I do go back to it, I'm probably gonna keep the same character because I really like my character. I like the progress that I've done uh, with the house and how we are in the Dark Brotherhood and all that stuff. And we'll probably do some um, expanded Dark Brotherhood quests, stuff like that. Um, but I might try and see if there's a way where I can respec my character, and uh, there's been a lot of call for me to try playing as a mage, and I like the idea of being a Khajiit wizard of death. Um, I know it's not ideal, Khajiit don't really have like the best uh, magic bonuses and stuff, but that's a thing, so we'll, we'll try that out maybe. Um, for the next week or two, I'm going to be doing a lot of random games, one-part videos, maybe some random PvP in games like Hawken or Tactical Intervention or something like that, just to um, give myself a little bit of time to recharge from a big series, and, I don't know, just have some fun, uh, and not worry about a main series, because that's uh, it's a little bit stressful going, okay, i got to get an episode out, like, ASAP. Okay, so the next main series, I've got a couple of ideas of things that I'm thinking about playing. I'm not 100% sure. I might even, if I can manage and I have the time, and large trucks don't roll by 24 friggin' 7, which, you know, that happens here. But, um, I think I might try and do two at the same time, but we're gonna have to see how life pans out. I'm gonna have a main series for sure, and I might try and do a second one. If I can't do a second one, then I know what I'm probably gonna do for my second main series, either before or after we get back to Skyrim, depending on how long the first one takes. Aside from main series, Mighty Quest is back. There's going to be a couple episodes coming up where I'm going to try and rebuild the defense because, man, our castle's in shambles. Um, there should have been an episode that went up the other day of me scrapping the whole castle and starting to figure out totems. We're going to continue on that path, and we're going to make a totem-based badass castle, and then if I don't like that anymore afterwards, we're going to make a themed castle once we're done trying to kill everyone. Mostly, the episodes are going to be like 10 to 15 minute long quick episodes of me attacking a couple people or tweaking something in defense, and I'll try and keep them fairly even. I'm going to start doing a lot more stuff off camera. I know the game's gone downhill quite a lot, but I know a lot of people still enjoy the game, and it has potential, it's just... Is very broken, and I hope they start to fix that. So yeah, that's a thing. Next, spooks videos. Um, I got a couple spooks videos. I was trying to avoid mostly mainstream games because everybody does spook videos, but it's hard to find games that everyone hasn't already played. And a lot of the games that everyone hasn't played is because they all suck. And I played a lot of really bad horror games. A lot of really bad horror games that you guys will never see, and the footage has already been long deleted. I'm definitely going to do Five Nights at Freddy's. I've already recorded Five Nights at Freddy's, <clears throat> but I have a lot of editing to do. I might extend the spooks beyond um, October, because October is always too short for me. It's my favorite month, and I love spooks, and I love Halloween, and I love scary stuff, even though I'm completely incapable of being scared. Um, so what I'm going to maybe do is maybe... The other main series that I was talking about earlier might be a scary game. I don't know yet. We still have to figure that out. If not, I'll just be playing scary games randomly sometimes because it's a lot of fun to not be scared and wish you could be scared, but you just can't feel anymore. It's kind of depressing. Uh, next, I made a Steam group. I made a Steam group, and I'm not going to lie, primarily so I could be a curator and curate the awesome games that I've played because they're a lot of fun. <clears throat> Drinking hot chocolate and milk right before recording is not advisable as your voice keeps cracking, you get frogs in your throat, it's really bad, don't do it. Um, that also probably counts if you have like public speaking or some shit to do. But yeah, so I made a Steam group, primarily so I could be a curator, but then I'm like, yo, we could totally use this. I want to play more games with you guys, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of good free games, like there's Tactical Intervention, which you should have just seen me murder a bunch of people a minute ago. And there's a lot of non-free games, like I wouldn't mind doing like a Dark Souls event. You know, like, um, uh, what's his name? Abyssal Gravelord, I think, is the one guy, and a bunch of other um, popular Dark Souls 2 Let's Players do community events, and I've taken part in a couple of those, just like some PvP stuff. 
Scott Jun does uh, streams where he does PvP and duels a lot of fans all the time, and Jun is pretty cool, he's a good guy. So I wouldn't mind doing some of that, just random events, um, so we can organize it on the Steam group. Now someone's doing dishes in the background, this is the most professional update I've ever done. So it's got uh, a forum and a notice board and all that stuff, so we could potentially, um, you know, organize stuff on there and hang out and talk. Yeah, so I mean, hell, in general Steam groups are useful, so... If you guys are interested, there will be a link on how to get to that. So, uh, let's see. Oh, and um, last bit of YouTube news. I'm thinking about doing another Q&A video because I've gotten a lot of subscribers since the last one, and that was almost a year ago. So if some of the new guys want to ask some questions, um, I'm, you know, I'm up for it. Just let me know below whether or not you have questions. Don't ask me questions below because I'm going to make a separate video saying, all right, ask questions here so I can keep it organized. But if there's an, if there's more of an interest, I'll totally do it sooner rather than later because uh, Q and A videos take a while to make. The last bit of news outside of YouTube, we, I'm making a video game with my friends. Remember that happened a while ago? Well, a lot of my friends shot way too high. They wanted to do a open world detective supernatural ghost game, kind of like The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. But the problem is, uh, most of my friends don't have game development experience. Loud trucks always drive by, I swear to God. Um, but most of my friends don't have game development experience, and they shot way too high, and I was just telling them, yo, we should probably aim really low and make something like a puzzle game or something for our first game, just to understand how game development works, especially with a team that we've never made anything with before. Like, the closest thing I've done, I've made some Flash games on my own. They're not even published anywhere because they were so bad. But I know the process of making a thing. And it's always a lot harder than you expect it to be, and you always get a lot less done than you hope you can. And uh, so everyone bit off more than they could chew, and everyone abandoned ship after a while because it wasn't fun anymore and it was really hard. And we never got anywhere. But uh, me and my one friend Crisis, who tend to be the last two people on the ship as it's sinking, um, we decided, you know what, let's just make a small game on our own. Let's aim where we thought we were going to aim originally. <clears throat> and we'll make a uh, like an RPG Maker game. And I happen to have a couple of copies of RPG Maker with the commercial rights. So I'm like, yeah, let's make something and publish it, and if it gets good, we can sell it and it'll be fun. So we did that, or we're working on that, but we decided the engine that RPG Maker provides, while incredibly versatile, was really clunky with a lot of the things we wanted to do, and neither of us are incredibly uh, programming savvy. So it didn't work out that well, and we're, we have found a new engine, and we're working on getting it to do everything that we want it to do, and we're getting really close to being finished with just the engine. And we've got a lot of ideas for that, and really excited, it's going to be a lot of fun. But man, it's a lot of work. But that's what I've been doing aside from this. I'm also thinking I'm going to be making some uh, RPG Maker games on my own, just to keep up and practice and do level design kind of things, and maybe just have fun and make some games, because it's fun in general. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing outside of YouTube, and expect some videos in the future of me making sprites or drawing stuff and things like that. Stuff that has to do with game development, because I feel like documenting those things and showing you guys. So, I mean, might as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the channel update. I can't think of anything else that's really been going on. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the recent playthroughs of Skyrim and stuff like that, and I hope you guys stick around for more stuff in the future, because uh, it's always a lot of fun, and I like talking to you guys down in the comments, so I'll talk to you all later.